Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about my favorite products from the month of May. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. I have my iced coffee here ready on the side. So take a minute to grab your iced coffee, your hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So my monthly favorites video is always just like a good roundup of the items that stood out to me the most, the items that I used the most or reached for without even thinking about it. So these are like my top products from the month of May. So if you haven't noticed, I am sounding a bit more nasally than usual. I'm not sure if it's allergies or if it's a head cold, but either way, I have a bit of a sinus situation right now, so bear with me. So the first item that is like my favorite of the month of May is the Chanel Les Beige palette here. This is La Palette Indispensable. This is the Nine Shadow palette that came out with the Les Beige 2019 collection. It is this beautiful, neutral, warm tone palette. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it has satin finish, it has powder finish eyeshadows, it has cream finish eyeshadows. It is absolutely stunning. I have created several different looks with this palette. I just love it so much. I am a huge fan of neutrals. I'm a huge fan of warm tone neutrals. I don't get bored of neutrals. I know some people, um, they think that neutrals are boring for eyeshadows. I don't. I could wear them all day, every day, and never get bored. I find neutrals to be so versatile because you can wear a bold lip with it. You can wear different colored liners or mascaras. I'm a huge fan. I love that there's warm tone and cool tone as well. There's a bunch of beautiful different satin finish ones, like different shimmer shadows. I am so happy that I bought this palette, even though nine shadows is a bit much. <laughs> it's like a lot to use up, but I don't know. It's just, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. And I'm quite certain that it's probably sold out by now. I think it keeps selling out and then restocking and selling out and restocking. So yeah, I'm so happy that I picked this up and that's all I have to say. And also the packaging on the outside is stunning. Like you can see here, oh, I have some foundation stains up here, but just like the Le Beige packaging, it's just like an extra little added touch that we all love. So also from the Le Beige collection is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I am in the shade Medium here. I really love this foundation, if we can call it that. That's what I'm wearing today. I used two pumps just to get a bit more coverage. Um, I've also recently done a video about three different wear, three different ways to wear this product, you know, from more light to medium full coverage. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link down in the description box. I just really love it because it really does help blur out imperfections, but it's very, very light. It's very natural. It's very fresh. It doesn't feel like you have anything on the skin. I feel like in the hot summer days, you know, when you wear sunglasses and it leaves like a print here. I'm going to see when it gets warmer if it'll like leave a print with this product here. I just, I don't know. I'm looking forward to wearing this when it's hotter out and I still want to look back together because if it gets too muggy and you're sweating and you're wearing a full foundation, it kind of runs. I'm interested to see how this will wear in that kind of weather, but I'm just a really big fan. It's just, it's a really nice light product and it is really expensive, but it's really nice. Okay, last but not least from the Chanel Le Beige collection, it is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder. This is the exclusive collection. The Healthy Glow Powder is just a regular product in the Chanel collection, but they came out with the exclusive packaging here. The packaging is different. That's the only thing that's different. The product inside is the exact same. I have the shade number 20, and I use this as a setting powder. And the reason that I love the Le Beige Healthy Glow Powders as a setting powder is that they don't mattify. I mean, not compared to regular powders because they have that healthy glow formula, so they still keep your face looking a little bit shiny, a little bit luminous, and it kind of just like helps set the makeup without mattifying, without drying out. I'm a huge fan of this. Okay, let's move on to another collection. I recently picked up a few Fenty Beauty products and I'm a really big fan. I feel like I've been on the fence to try more Fenty Beauty products because I tried the foundation and I wasn't a big fan. However, I finally caved in and picked up a few products. I bought the Match Stick, the Matte Skin Care. Blah, blah. I picked up the Match Stick. This is Matte Skin Stick. So it's technically a foundation or bronzer or contour, depending on what shade you get. And I got the Match Stick Shimmer Skin Stick. That's really hard to say, Shimmer Skin Stick. And the shade is called Ridic. So the Shimmer Skin Sticks are either highlighters or blushes, depending on what shade you get. 
And then these ones here, I guess, technically could be foundation or bronze or contour. So I got the one called Mocha. So I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar, but the Fenty Beauty products, they are magnetized. So they just click together and they are in the honeycomb shape here, which is really nice. So the color Mocha is like my bronzer or contour. That's what I'm wearing today. This is what it looks like here. Just this really nice dark color. And this is what it looks like here. The formula for these matchsticks or skin sticks, is that what these are called? What are these called? These color sticks here, they are so creamy and easy to blend. Like it really barely takes any work at all to blend it out. And the same goes for the blush here. This one is called Ridic. It is this beautiful orange color. And when you see it at first, it kind of looks intense, but this is what I'm wearing today. And when you blend it out, it looks wearable. Like it doesn't look like a crazy orange color. And this is the finish here. So as you can see, it has a little bit of shimmer or glow to it, but it's not like a chunky glitter. It's just kind of like a luminous, glowy, dewy effect. I really love these products. I have a few other products from Fenty Beauty. If you guys like to see like a full review, my take on other Fenty Beauty products, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, these two combined, the bronzer and blush duo, they're really nice. I'm, I get what the fuss is about about Fenty Beauty. So yeah, really big fan. Okay, so next up is an item that I picked up uh, when I was in San Francisco a few months ago. This is from Supergoop. It's the Glow Stick Sunscreen with an SPF of 50. So it's a sunscreen that's in a stick formula. This is it here, and then it twists up, and then you have your product. And it's a clear, it looks like a gel. And I know what you're thinking, a stick, you don't want to like drag it across your face, that's not good for your skin. However, this is so incredibly creamy i want to say like it just as soon as you put um this product on your skin it just seems to melt like you don't have to tug whatsoever like i'll put it like here on my chest but you can just see like it just like melts it just like you don't have to drag it almost like does it for itself like it's really nice it's really convenient it has an spf of 50. i like to wear this a lot on days that i'm not wearing makeup so i can just like kind of reapply really easily without getting my hands dirty I don't know if you are like camping, if you're outside a lot and you're not wearing any makeup. I would not put this over top of makeup because this is clear and it would just like pick up whatever you have on your face. But you could just like put it on whatever parts of your body. And like I said, like as you can see, it, I don't know, where else can I put this? On the my arm here. Like you don't have to drag across. It literally just melts into the skin and you're not tugging at your skin. So... This is really nice. I think the next time I order something from Supergoop, I'm gonna get that sunscreen or that hand cream with a sunscreen in it. I'll let you guys know when I get it. Okay, so next up are three lipsticks. I feel like I always have a lip product in my favorites videos. I feel like lip products are one of those items that we can like justify buying more of. I feel like I can't justify buying a foundation very often, even though I do, but I feel like a lipstick, I don't know, I'm in my mind I'm gonna use it up faster, even though I don't. Anyway, all that to say, I really love these new Gucci lipsticks. This is a new launch, a new release from Gucci. They do have other beauty products or had other beauty products in the past and they kind of just like revamped all of it. This is the outside packaging. I love it. I think I love the Art Deco a bit more than the floral pattern, but either way, it's stunning. I recently did a video with Grace over at Everyday Edit and we did... Um, like a swatch and demo of the same lipsticks so you guys can see like what it looks like on different skin tones i'll leave a link down in the description box as well so these are relatively new to me in the month of may but i'm still like in love with them the packaging is stunning and the product itself is beautiful like they wear really well they're long lasting they're super comfortable let me give you guys a few swatches so the first one the floral pattern one is may coral and this one here is a voile so there are three textures or three finishes in the new gucci lipsticks there's a satin there's a voile and there's a balm so this is like in the medium like medium opacity so let me just give you a little swatch here it's just like a really pretty little coral orange lip color. I find that these voile textures are similar or comparable to the Rouge Coco Flash or even the Dior lip glows. That same sort of in between a lipstick and a lip balm, very hydrating but also has more pigment than a regular lip balm. 
if you like that kind of finish, I think you would like these voile textures. And then these two here are satin finish. I have a number 405 Grand Hotel. This is a beautiful plummy one. Gorgeous raspberry plum berry color. And then number 500 Odalie Red, which is arguably my favorite color. It's just like that gorgeous red. It's a bit warm tone, has a bit of orange in it. There we go. That just screams my name. Okay, and last but not least, I received a few items in PR that I want to talk about. These are from Lano Lips or Lanolin Beauty. I got a hand cream and also a couple lip balms. So this is the lemon hand cream, and this smells a little... I can't actually smell anything right now. Wow, I just realized that. Well, in theory, it smells like lemon meringue pie, like the filling, but it's not like too intense. Like it's not an overbearing scent. It doesn't really have a color. It's just white. Let me show you. So this is the hand cream here. And it just, it's very intense, it's very hydrating, but it absorbs into the hands super fast. Like as soon as you massage it a few times, it's gone. Like I find that a lot of intense hand creams, you kind of have to like really rub in there to get the, like to get it to penetrate into your skin. This you don't, like you just have to move it around a few times and it's gone, which is really nice. And then they also sent me these lip balms here. These are for dry lips. There's no fragrance. They're not tested on animals. Um, these are just like really nice. Let me show you a little bit of a swatch. So the first one here is called Rhubarb. This is Rhubarb here, a little bit of a pinky color. And then we have Perfect Nude. That's this one here. So there they are at the bottom of my hand here. And these feel really thick. And usually when something is tinted, it doesn't feel that nourishing. But these really do the job. They just feel like a really thick lip balm, which is really nice. I like to apply these before doing makeup. I just throw a little bit on and it really just like helps hydrate my lips. And if you are someone who likes more of a natural no makeup makeup look, you might like these because they have a little bit of a tint, but they're gonna also hydrate your lips a, a lot. So that about does it for my roundup of favorite products from the month. I think if you watch my channel, most of these items shouldn't be too surprising. I think the only thing that I haven't really talked about on my channel yet is Fenty Beauty. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you spotted any favorites in today's videos. What are some of your favorite products from the month of May? You know, like we all have that makeup pouch in our purse that we just like, it's the same lipstick, same blush that we keep using. Let me know what is your favorite product from the month of May. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you for tolerating my nasally congestion today. I think I'm gonna go and uh, lie down after this video. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for watching my video. It does mean a lot to me because I know that you guys have so many choices of what to watch, but the fact that you watch my videos, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. So on that note, I think I will leave you because I don't think I have anything else to say. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.